My name is Stu Feinstein. I'm a professor in the Department of Molecular, Cellular, and Developmental Biology and also College of Creative Studies, co-director of the Neuroscience Research Institute. And I'm the coordinator for the COVID response team. COVID began in the spring of 2020. Over the summer, the chancellor called me one evening and asked if I would be able to coordinate the COVID response team. And so that includes the three aspects of sample acquisition, which is here at Loma Polona, and then testing those samples, and then contact tracing the positive people. In terms of setting up the COVID response team, there was a lot of work to do. Looking from the outside in, it might be a big challenge since we don't have a medical center here at campus. That does add to the difficulty of the job, but we have a tremendous number of really talented people here, and we also have a really good student health center. First, we had to set up the sample acquisition station. That was Holly Smith and Betsy Mallier did a spectacular job on that to the point that we can collect thousands, several thousand samples a day for testing. Then we had to move over to set up a laboratory from nothing. We had two empty rooms that were very generously donated to us by the College of Engineering in a new bioengineering building. We had to build diagnostic clinical laboratory there. That involved getting a lot of equipment, which there were supply chain problems and our procurement people managed to work their way through that so well. Then we had to get people, and that involved Lisa Foley from Student Health, was very helpful in getting us uh, the people that we needed and we got Professor Carolina Arias was on the team from Molecular Cell and Developmental Biology, and she's a real card-carrying virologist, so she was critical to setting up the laboratory. Then I came on a little bit later. We had a few graduate students in on the operation as well. And so then the laboratory was up and running, and with Lisa's guidance and guidance from some of the other docs on campus, Dr. Vea Skripkis, Dr. Mary Ferris, we were able to get the laboratory up and get CLIA accreditation in about four months, which is pretty much record time. And that meant that we could take samples from Loma Polona, send them to BioE, do the tests, and oftentimes have the answer in a few hours, certainly 24 hours. And then the third part of setting up the COVID response team was setting up contact tracing. And Holly Smith also helped a lot with that. And Dr. Elizabeth Toro is doing a great job on that now. And that is to try to figure out once people test positive, where have they been, who have they been around, and to try to mitigate any further spread of, of the virus. One more group that I'd like to mention who were critical to us being able to do all this, in fact, we would not have been able to do it without them, is the two or three dozen people who came over to work in the testing clinic from HDAE, Housing, Dining, and Auxiliary Services. Um, this included custodians, dining service people, um, people from up and down the ladder at HDAE, and they came over, we trained them in uh, infectious disease control and how to do their work safely and they really have been critical to the whole testing clinic operation. And so I've mentioned only some of the people, I'm sure I've left some of them out, there really were a hundred, more than a hundred people involved in making this all work. Um, and so we have a really good uh, response team set up and we're able to do it because of smart people uh, who were very dedicated to what they were doing.